What's up my friends and my new friends? Welcome back to a brand new video. How is your day? Today we've got a brand new Dragon Ball Super episode review. Dragon Ball Super episode 64 just hit guys and oh my god this episode was lit. It was literally fire. Like I cannot wait to go in depth more in this video and I hope you guys will stick around for it. Let's go ahead and get this shit started guys. Like oh my god fusion, fusion, Patara fusion. There's only one one thing that can stop Black Zamasu now, it's Vegito. What's up my friends and my new friends, welcome back to a brand new video. Finally, we have a brand new episode of Dragon Ball Super, and here is Dragon Ball Super Episode 64's review. At the beginning of the episode, Vegeta and Goku Black are literally fighting to the death, and Zamasu, Zamasu is confronted by Goku, and Goku demands a fight, but since Zamasu is a god, he doesn't like being ordered and bossed around by Goku, so he literally fights him. Goku Black literally turns his energy blade into a scythe, and he rips a hole in the sky when Vegeta thought he was aiming for him but his intention was to instead rip a hole in the sky and create multiple black Gokus from the dark energy and so many of them just start to appear so I'm kind of curious about this hole in the sky it looks definitely looks like Goku Black's key aura that comes around him when he powers up so I'm kind of curious is it a different dimension is it a different universe where is all of this coming from? Anyway, following these events, Goku leaves his fight with Zamasu and he aids Vegeta against the multiple black Gokus. Meanwhile, Zamasu leaves the fight and heads towards Trunks and Mai's location, but they don't see him coming until Trunks asks Mai to see how the fight is going with the binoculars. Just when they see him approaching at a rapid pace, Bulma panics over Zamasu closing in on their location and she literally facetimes Piccolo with Trunks and Mai to see how Trunks can use the Mafuba. But wait a minute. No, oh, oh shit. I was absolutely wrong there. She actually has a pre or pre-recorded video of Piccolo practicing the Mafuba from her timeline. So she has a video of Piccolo practicing the Mafuba just to teach Trunks how to use it and seal Zamasu in case Goku can can't do that so you know guys this episode has been really amazing so far with the action and everything involving black goku and zamasu and goku and vegeta and just like the whole this entire episode has been awesome the animation is great the combat is great the character voices are amazing i was literally dying at the part when trunks poses like a member of the ginyu force while he practices his moves to impress mai like he's literally doing dance Dances and stuff like a member of the Ginyu Force. It kind of reminds me of something. Um, well, like definitely like the Ginyu Force, they would always like do poses and stuff like that. Each one of them had a different pose, a unique pose. And in Dragon Ball Xenoverse, <laughs> you know, their their poses are also shown as well. But with Trunks doing this, I was dying. It was so hilarious. And while he protect, he while, like go okay. Trunks prac. Blah, I don't even know what kind of English I'm speaking here. Like blah, 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 blah. I don't even know what that is, guys. Can somebody tell me what that is? <laughs> but <laughs> Trunks, you know, while he's practicing his moves to impress Mai, Bulma literally heads outside and she flirts with Zamasu. This is probably the best part of the episode. Well, not the best part of the episode, but definitely up there is one of the best parts of the episode. Uh, Bulma, she literally went outside to buy time and she was like, Hello, Zamasu. I'm going to touch you. Be real good wife. And she, I, don't, I don't know what she was doing by that, but she was being absolutely hilarious with her touching Zamasu and just trying to like um, seduce him and try to get him to like marry her or something and make her a female god. So Bulma is literally flirting with Zamasu, trying to buy some time and convince him not to destroy her right there on sight but he he just freaking gets all furious with her she's like shaking her body and everything
thing trying to show off her bod in front of his face, and it doesn't even really phase him. He just gets pissed. So this entire show with Bulma just trying to like seduce or buy time using her body <laughs> with the opponents or the enemy, it's just, it's it's just not working with anybody <laughs> but i don't know it's working with me like I, I she's she's pretty funny you know she can be pretty funny i just i i don't know why she doesn't do this to master roshi like i really miss those scenes with master roshi trying to like grab her ass or something like that and i would just literally die on sight i would be just i would it, it, it's hilarious like i don't know i'm pretty sure every one of you guys have watched the original dragon ball and watched dragon ball z and you understand Master Roshi's um, perverted sense of humor when it comes to Bulma. But it's like really weird because in Dragon Ball, we had Master Roshi was like an 80. No, he was like a 300 something year old guy, uh, according to Corin. Because uh, Master in Dragon Ball, Master Roshi ha was the only one to climb Corin Tower and, that w and gain the strength of the, the sacred water. But like you know uh what am i doing right now i don't even know uh <laughs> you guys are probably dying you're like what is cog doing and i'm trying to like figure this all out okay so <laughs> i can't even talk right now i'm just speechless with bulma showing off her body to Zamasu. I'm still stuck on that part. But anyway, Master Roshi was the only one to ever climb Corn Tower, which was like 300 years according to uh, 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 Corrin, which happened in Dragon Ball. And I guess Corrin's like over 800 years old and Master Roshi's over 300 years old. So it's like really crazy that Master Roshi is that old. And Bulma's like, what, a 14-year-old or a 12-year-old? She's like a 14 or a 16-year-old. And Master Roshi's just hit on her with his perverted sense of humor and like yeah it's pretty funny but it's like definitely like gross and wrong but um i kind of miss that humor in dragon ball uh super like i i kind of wish that that humor would come back to dragon ball super and some of it has been there but we haven't seen enough of master roshi and I'd really like to see more scenes involving Master Roshi and Bulma. And I think I've actually talked about this in a previous review like a while back. But I can't really remember. Anyway guys, this shit is mad funny. Like, okay, so like Bulma, she pokes Zamasu's nipple and she attempts to flirt with him. But he gets pissed and he literally knocks her out unconscious. And Trunks bursts with rage. He goes outside and he's all like, no, mother. And he's like having like some kind of like flashback scenes. Just seeing his how his mom died by Goku Black. And now his, his mom from the present is in the hands of Zamasu. And she's just unconscious. Now, I don't know. Should I use that for the thumbnail? I have no idea. Maybe I should use that for the thumbnail. But anyway, she's like unconscious. Trunks is furious. He just rages, powers up, and he attempts to use the Mafuba on Zamasu. And he's a quick learner. He nailed that shit right on. But they forgot the seal. They forgot the magic seal at Master Roshi's house. Okay, the Mafuba, it works, but it fails. And... It's like, oh man, they almost had him sealed away, but now they have a more difficult opponent ahead of themselves because Zamasu and Goku Black fuse together. That's right, folks. He, they fuse together, but I don't know, man. They're just like so clumsy and impulsive, and, and they just want to get to the future to save everyone from Goku Black and Zamasu, and they forgot the seal. If they hadn't forgotten the seal, Zamasu would be sealed right now. But anyway, guys, Zamasu breaks free, and he becomes really exhausted, and so Goku Black appears there, and he's like, yo, what's going on, bro? What's going on, bro? What are you doing, bro? And Zamasu's like, oh my god, these mortals are more powerful than I thought. Gotta watch out for them. They're, they're so powerful, and... But Goku Black's just like, I guess, you know, we should fuse. So they use their Patara earrings and they end up fusing into uh, Black Zamasu, I, I guess from what it's called. I don't know. But before we get further into that part, you know, like meanwhile with the rift in the sky and everything, giving Goku Black the power of bodily replication, he uses that power to assault Goku and Vegeta simultaneously. And just when Black Goku feels the disappearance of Zamasu's key because he gets sealed in the jar, the Mafuba jar, he bolts to Trunks' location using, you know, sensing his key. And both 
both Goku and Vegeta eventually follow him, and all of the replicated Goku Blacks and uh, Super Saiyan Rose Goku Blacks end up uh, disappearing. So it's just Goku Black, it's just Zamasu, and they end up fusing together. Like, but like Zamasu, he has no idea of what happened to him with the Mafuba jar and everything. Like, he he has no clue. So. I don't know, guys. It's really crazy, like, with the Patara, fear, the Patara, Patara fusion and Goku Black and Zamasu fusing together into Black Zamasu. I don't know. What's the name for this? What would you guys call it? Would you call him uh, Black Zamasu, Dark Zamasu, Goku Black Zamasu, Goku Zamasu Black, uh, Black Zamasu Goku. I don't know. Black Goku Zamasu. I don't know. But, hey, I'm interested in finding out. So, anyway, guys, the animation was awesome. This episode was great. It was amazing. 10 out of 10. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this video. I'm looking forward to the next coming Dragon Ball Super episode. I hope you guys will be there for that review. Also, for some of you guys wondering about the uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 Super Saiyan video, uh, like how to get it, that video is coming. Uh, my character build video is coming. So, just be patient. Some of these videos take a lot more time than... Yeah, you think I don't know like some of them they do take a lot of time and I've also got stuff doing that I'm doing outside of YouTube so I've just got a lot going on right now a lot on my plate so just be patient I promise those videos will be out thank you guys so much for taking the time or day to watch this video I greatly appreciate it the support on these videos is unreal you guys are amazing like holy crap Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. You are great. So, you know, with all that being said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Have a great day and, you know, just enjoy life. Peace. <laughs>